Okay, you've decided to take a leap of faith and decided to do a regression session. Awesome. I'm very excited, very excited. And if you chose to do a regression with me, then I, my commitment to you is to do everything in my power to maximize your healing, to maximize your learning, and to maximize impact that you can have with your healing. So, um, first of all, what to do a regression about? I get asked this question frequently. Okay, I, I want to do a regression, but um, what should I regress about? If you don't know exactly, like if you if you don't know your regression request, request um, right away, then um, first of all, we can figure out together. You don't have to stress about that. I'm really, really, really good at finding that perfect in the moment regression topic and regression request. So I will help you. And we will do the session that will be most important to you at that moment. If you like to prepare like me, then here's what you can do to figure out what, uh, what that regression request should be. So first of all, you can just um, scan your dominant thoughts over the last few weeks or maybe months or maybe years and see whether you've had any worries, any like recurring worries or anxieties and what those worries or anxieties were about. Maybe they worry about a job or maybe they worry about a relationship. So then dig a bit deeper. If it's about a relationship, what exactly about the relationship that's been bugging me? Uh, is it, let's say, um, this person makes me feel less than, or I constantly feel like I'm working on eggshells. Or if it's a relationship with your boss, um, I'm feeling underappreciated. And so then it's up to you to whether you wanna dig a bit deeper and see, okay, where these feelings of being underappreciated are coming from. For example, uh, if we remember that everybody is a mirror to us, you can just do this exercise. You can say, okay, I'm feeling an underappreciated with this person. Sometimes this kind of feeling leads to feeling a victim. Uh, oh my God, he's an asshole. <laughs> he's not appreciating what I do. The way to turn the tables around and get into a power position in this situation is say to yourself, he's just mirroring me uh, the underappreciation that I inflict on myself. So thank you, my dear boss, for showing me that there is a part of me that's not loving and that's too harsh on myself and that's making me underappreciate myself. And then just sit down and write, okay, here's how I underappreciate myself. And just write every idea that comes to you about, I, I underappreciate myself when I ta -da -da, underappreciate myself by doing ta -da -da. So uh, this way you can actually reflect it on yourself and take responsibility for your feelings. And first of all, that immediately before any regression session will help you because uh, stepping out of the victim position is a major break breakthrough on its own. It sucks feeling a victim, right? Because you are in a powerless position. When on the other hand, you take responsibility for the feelings and say, I am doing this to myself, my boss is just reflecting it to me, you can um, take power back and then you can figure out how do I underappreciate myself? And the great news about it is that you are in control of whether you appreciate yourself or not. So thank you, boss, for letting me know, for, for shining the light right on the spot where I am not loving towards myself. And let me figure out how I can 
learn to love myself in this specific ac uh, aspect. So what about me uh, that makes me devalue my work, my professional qualities, right? And then you can see maybe, oh, uh, I have an imposter syndrome. I feel like, you know, I'm a fake. I'm faking it at work. And deep down uh, underneath it, I have this anxiety that I'm not good enough. I'm just making this up. But you see where I'm going. So that's optional reflection work that's always helpful to do, whether you're preparing for regression or not. It will just help you to feel better and feel in control because you are. <laughs> Uh, so another, uh, so that's about uh, dominant and recurring uh, feelings, and it can be any feeling. Uh, it can be um, it can be sadness. It can be a recurrent thought that you are having. Um, maybe you've had a terrible mood for the last few months. I mean, it, it wouldn't be uh, um, abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's okay. So we can work on that mood. Or maybe you realize that you have, um, you, you have hit a glass ceiling with your relationship with money. Uh, maybe you realize, and I've had this kind of regression request before. One client came to me and said, hey, um, I'm perfectly capable um, of meeting all of my needs. I have a striving business, and yet every time I try to break through the glass ceiling and reach the next level, something is always holding me back. Out of the blue, all kinds of unexpected large expenses appear. Um, uh, like she even got uh, IRS inspection twice, I think, um, when she decided to buy a new car, for example. And so uh, what we discovered in the regression is that she had this blockage. It was kind of like a protective mechanism not to make more money than just to sort of meet your basic needs. And that was coming from her family that got, uh, you know, everything was taken from them and they lost lives because they had money. So the program in her head was that money is dangerous. And if you have too much money or a lot of money, uh, you can die. And surely that is a very powerful uh, protective program. The only problem with that program is that this person is no longer in the circumstances when she could die if she has a lot of money. So that program is no longer serving her. So we had to break it. So we did. So that's a great request and that's a great avenue to pursue uh, if you're looking to grow. Uh, and regressions are super effective at this because they go directly in your subconscious and they rewrite this program and they free you from it. And then you're free to build your own program. Whatever program that aligns with you and who you are today and what you stand for. Uh, what else can you do? How else can you figure out what to do uh, for a regression topic? Mm, let's think. Um, well, it can be, uh, if, if you're looking for growth, um, you actually don't have any anxiety or worry or anything like that bothering you, but you just wanna grow. You wanna raise your consciousness level and you, uh, you want to expand. That's a perfectly valid uh, regression request. Another regression request could be, um, I want to see the moment and I want to, I, I want to find this um, moment when I was um, truly in love, and uh, I want to see the true perfect love that I experienced. Anytime, maybe it was in your childhood, maybe it was some past life, we don't know. Uh, or maybe you want to meet your spirit guides. 
um, if you want that, um, regression is a fabulous tool to do in that. Uh, we achieve that in that space that's called life between the lives. And so when you go there, that's where you can meet your spirit guides. And if that's what you want, just let me know when we can find a great, uh, most relevant way for you to get there so that not only do you meet your spirit guides, but also learn something valuable um, for yourself right be uh, before, before you meet them. Uh, other kinds of reg uh, regression requests I've had were um, strange relationship with your loved ones. And it doesn't have to be your, um, your partner, maybe it could be one of your parents, could be your kids. Um, then another one is a uh, feeling of betrayal. If you notice, for example, that you feel betrayed by your friends or maybe your loved ones, the same situation applies, the same tool applies as I was explaining with um, the underappreciative boss. You can turn around uh, uh, this uh, feeling of being betrayed and say, ask yourself, how do I betray myself? but uh, betrayal or feeling of being abandoned or feeling of being neglected or feeling of uh, being powerless. All of these feelings are very remarkable regression requests. Uh, you can learn a lot about yourself. And uh, uh, please, please, please do not allow the fear of finding out something terrible you, uh, about yourself deter you from this decision to do a regression. Why? And this actually is a very common thing I hear from people who are contemplating a regression. They often tell me, damn, uh, I'm afraid to find out I'm a shitty person. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> actually, it does not work like that at all. To the contrary, you will uh, wh whatever you will discover, what you will feel is compassion to yourself. And if anything, you will feel this increased sensation of love towards yourself because you will see, damn, my life has been hard. I had to deal with this as a little kid. I didn't understand anything. Like, I'll give you an example. One of my clients uh, had this really like perpetual relationship with like um, a husband that she divorced twice who was a drunk. And when he was drunk, he was becoming aggressive and just had this kind of violent behavior. And she'd always just be terrified. Yet she couldn't leave this man for some reason. So she came to me and when I regressed her, she saw that once her mom and her, and she was seven years old at the time, in the winter, left the party, and her mom was a bit tipsy, let's say. And so as they were walking home, she fell. Okay, just think for a second, right? Like if you were a seven-year-old kid, it's winter, it's dark, and your mom fell down because she's drunk. She was terrified. She was terrified. She did not know what to do. She was afraid she couldn't get her back up. And the program that got stuck in her mind was, I'm so scared. Uh, she's going to die. I'm going to die. I cannot uh, support her. And another program is that the adults and the authority figures will always behave like this, i.e. irresponsibly, terribly, and they will make me feel helpless, right? Because that was her mother and bad or good, uh, we absorb the role models that our parents demonstrate to us. And whatever they do, we just take it as a sign of love. So in her mind, the sign of love was failing at responsibility. 
And so that got recorded as her program that her loved ones will be failing at their responsibility and they will make, they will make her feel this terrible. So uh, she, she was also one of the people who were afraid, like really terrified of having a regression. She even convinced herself that she cannot be regressed, that um, she's just not the psychotype who can uh, go through regression. But she did, and by the way, <laughs> it was uh, very smooth. <laughs> and afterwards, not only did she not feel that uh, she is a terrible person because she's attracting all this drunk behavior. To the contrary, she just realized just how um, how fragile she was and how much more attention she should, should be given to herself and how much she should take care of herself and make sure that she feels protected and she feels safe and she is she puts herself as an adult person into a safe environment so yes please set those fears aside i guarantee you you will feel more self-love and if this is something you're working towards then regression is phenomenal for cultivating the sense of self-love it's also great for um, developing feeling of self-worth, increasing self-esteem, uh, and also increasing uh, the sense of peace of mind. So please, please, please uh, know that you will, you will be in a safe environment. And one more thing to add to this is that uh, you can be absolutely 100% sure that you will not remember anything that can traumatize you because this process is taking place fully conscious, 100% conscious. And your consciousness is the perfect gatekeeper. Your consciousness will simply not allow you to remember anything that can harm you. So anything that you remember, know that that's for your benefit and there is only healing in that information that you remember you simply will not recall anything so there is absolutely no downside to doing regression other than okay you will waste like uh, i don't know maybe 40 minutes of your time uh, in the grand scheme, uh, scheme of things, that's not, <laughs> not too terrible. It's an acceptable downside, let's say. So please um, be excited about it. It will be so much fun. And if you do past life regression, imagine it's like a movie that you will see that's not only images and uh, some crazy storyline, but also the feelings. You will also feel the feelings of that person. And you will just see for yourself just what your imagination is capable of. It will be awesome, I promise. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Lots of love. I look forward to doing a regression with you.